are, I guess. Death Stranding, once again. Let's uh, find my controller. There we go. And continue. Hopefully, uh, we'll have a nice little session. Maybe actually have some viewers for once. Dookie. So, where were we? We were, uh... Oh, that's right. BB had gotten autotoxemic or whatever after we got to the... Or right before we got to that distribution center. So, I suppose we'll be picking up from there. Here we go. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Ah, yes, yeah, see. I kind of like that caution uh, notice on the BB pod there. Anyway. Your work is great. Dead man, you there? A little help. Okay, Sam. Remove the pod and connect it to Very the worried indicator. about BB. Alright. So, so Sam. just plug this some some bitch in and good. Uh, a temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. Mother? Uh, located in the capital, not city, ICU. You Brain see me? Uh, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. <laughs> With wiggly fingers. These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. Babies need to believe they're in one at all times to function They gotta properly. do what? However, they gotta believe. They can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a still mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now, the pod is synchronizing with the Steel Mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Man, that's like a Star Trek The Next Generation type solution Returning to a problem. Returning the BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Kid looks happy. I'll try adjusting the oxytocin passage. I'll be Let's see how high we can get this baby. Get this baby so high I can touch the sky. Uh, you should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Yeah, okay. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable. Hey, BB can hear you, man. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. Uh, it may need to be retired before this expedition is over. And then? You're saying there's no way to keep my BB alive? I'm gonna keep my uh, BB. You must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. 
We only know oh, to build right. them. We're not exactly you sure what they're for. Into why the BTs might be reacting to your blood? I spoke with Hartman. We should have your results soon. Anyway, get some rest. You and your BB are both exhausted. <sighs> Good night, Sam. Good night, Guillermo. I mean, dead man. Guillermo del dead man. Dead man del Toro. <laughs> All right, that's a perfectly normal way to go to bed. London Bridge is falling down, falling down. Somebody needs to teach this lady down. a new song. London Bridge is falling down, my fair. Check out that arm here. Sam? Can you see me? How are things over there? <laughs> still not under guard. Still not chained up. Still can't Unlike leave. you, you're chained up. But by your own will for some reason. But if you can keep making connections... I mean, it gets me, a little awkward when go you gotta get up east, to pee. Back home. But, uh... No. I, I, uh, I don't usually go to bed I that way. It. Someone in chat asks. Or somebody it's says uh, that's how they go to bed. There are fewer and fewer people in the cities these days. No one's having children anymore. But humans aren't made for living alone. They're supposed to come together. To help one another. And if we as a people can't do that... If we can't reconnect, then, well, it's like Bridget said, extinction. Come on. Rebuilding America isn't going to get rid of the BTs. As long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. But at least we'll have hope. I'll be waiting, Sam. Waiting for you. Come and find me. Radio. So that was largely a uh, reiteration. Since you're awake, it might behoove you to freshen up. To that end, why not? <laughs> It's good for the body and so, and also my research, as it happens. Mm hmm. I wonder what sort of research. All right, Hartman. You want a naked Norman Reedus? I'm going to get you a naked Norman Reedus. They call me Sam Naked Bridges. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Uh huh. You study other people with dooms? No, just you. Myself and Mama. Results thus far are inconclusive. But you possess other singular qualities, being a repatriate. Delicious well. qualities. I must confess to a measure of optimism. Processing fluids, waste products, dry relief. <laughs> Please tip your Take server. Your with you. Should the opportunity arise, try using it on a BT. I'm curious to see how they react. <laughs> All right, throw my bath water at a ghost. Who knows? It may even prove beneficial to you. There was an old research paper detailing the effects of bodily fluids from individuals like us on BTs. 
It is only by recovering these materials that we can unearth the knowledge of the past. Not just the Death Stranding, but also the mystery of your body's unique properties and even our doom's affliction. There may well be hope for humanity. Sam, I have no interest in rebuilding America. I want to recover the past. Five, oh, four, it's three, almost time. After you make your connections and nothing happens, then what? I said, then what? Chicken butt. Classic. Sam. Sorry to bother you. More than Oxy. Break, but I figured you'd want to hear this. <coughs> hell, maybe it'll help you rest. I just finished day. resting. We received a number of messages addressed to you. Not taken a look myself, but I gather they're mostly from your clients. You should see if they contain any useful information. Mail can be accessed via your cufflinks, as well as the terminal in your private room. There's something else I'd like to share with you. With the Cairo network, we now have the power to reclaim our past. Data once thought lost forever from every corner of America can be pieced back together from fragmented records. Our archives are still a work in progress, of course. Excuse me. But as we expand the network and integrate more way stations and cities, we'll be able to recover more and more information. Such as the previous expedition's logs and reports. Everything they sent back was lost when Central Knot City was destroyed. Now we've managed to restore some already, in fact. You can access them from a private room terminal or your cufflinks by selecting Archives. Might make for interesting reading. A little light reading, perhaps? What are you, what are you pointing at? A, B, B. Alright, anyway. I need to brush my teeth. Hmm, give me some of them static sensitive contents, please. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yeah! Get a load of that neck texture, though. That next year, if you will. Anyway, BB loved that. <laughs> well, anyway, you can goof off in front of the mirror and take pictures. Hooray, that's the thing. Anyway. Uh... I mean, I guess we can take off, or we can, I guess, look at our email. Uh, what do we got here? Sorry, Sam, bad news. Oh, this is the guy I just met. He's from here. Oh, God. That's a lot of, uh... That's a lot of words. More than Oxy. Man, everybody uses those uh, little skeet emojis. I'm not very comfortable with that. Oh, right. Uh, I put in a memory chip last time, so now we can look at that through here. And it was this guy. Frame Arms is a series of original plastic robot figurines created by Kotobukiya. Excellent pronunciation. <sighs> So, yeah. Byako is White Tiger. Yoji Shinkawa. Oh, yeah, he's the guy who did the uh, a lot of the artwork for Metal Gear and other Kojima works. All right, yeah, they give you likes just for reading their emails. They're like, hey, he read my mail. Why don't you reply to me, Sam? I wish she could reply. I can't, though. Alright, let's see what's up. Let's go to the Mads Mickelson dimension. This isn't what we agreed on. You said you'd do everything in your power to save BB. We are. But we cannot release the sun just yet. Hey, that sounds like, uh... That sounds like Samantha Strand. This is the woman in the mask who's done nothing but lie to me. A mask? Alright. 
right. Oh, who's this? Dead man? That's Sam, the dead man tone. There's something I forgot to tell you. It's about managing your BB stress levels and reducing the risk of autotoxemic attacks. There are a few things you can do if your BB starts showing signs of distress. Such as? Such as take a moment to look after it. Cradle the pot, gently rock it, that sort of thing. Out of curiosity, how's it doing at the moment? Uh, before I answer that... Something wrong? When I hook up my BB, I see things. What kind of things? Like a face, someone I don't know, calling to me. There's this room, too, with other people talking, but I can't make out the words. Uh, I mean, mm, you can hear it effect. quite plainly. Didn't I warn you about this? You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. They're false flashbacks, nothing more. Let me explain. A BB is harvested from its steel mother at around 28 weeks and placed in a pod. To be clear, this is before it's even born. The procedure halts its development. But even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via yeah, your connection. simple. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? Does it matter? The BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. How should I know which one made an impression? Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. BBs were developed decades ago in secret. They're your quintessential black boxes. We may use them, but we don't truly understand them. Believe hmm. me, I've been trying to learn more, but almost all of the old records are gone. If I find anything out, I'll tell you, all right? Dead man's honor. You're getting a Twilight reference? Someone in bits, yeah. All right. That one's that one's gonna be lost on me, I'm afraid. While you're arresting, I read some network diagnostics. Aurelia monitoring and holographic systems are nominal. Unfortunately, our oh, no. is offline. I know, I know. After all the trouble you went through to bring us those materials, this one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught them oh, poor the mule mish. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site, which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. Well, whatever, I'll just waltz in there and Don't kick all their asses and take their stuff. Guys are chumps. Can't think of anyone more qualified than you. I could possibly even ninja in there without them even seeing me. Okay. Ooh, chiral crystal collection. He, that's the three C's. And recover the printer interface from the mule camp. Gotcha. Mama's added a watchtower schematic to your PC suit. <laughs> if you don't have it on you, consider fabricating one. You never know when you'll need to recon an area. Nobody messes with Mama. Nobody backs Mama in a corner. Uh...